Hey there guys, it's Rick Tutzer here again. I've got the Hot Sun Neutron Star that I'm gonna be reviewing for Pyramid Air. In fact, that's what I'm doing today. Very excited about that, already done a little shooting with it and it does a really good job. But we gotta get crony numbers and all that kind of fun stuff. So before I do that, I need to get air in my bottle. So this is running at 250 bar. This is filled uh, to 4,500, but I've used it so much now that I'm down below that 250 bar. So in order to get 250 into that, I got to get more than 250 into this. Now, we live out in the middle of nowhere. Actually, we're just left of nowhere, but we're out in the sticks. I don't have power here at my range. So what do you do to get air? Well, that's where this comes into play. Now, this is a new brand of compressors. It's coming out of China. The owner actually flew over here met with me personally and we've kind of worked out something where we're going to be able to provide these and we're actually going to be able to provide the support directly to you on the on the ones you buy from us now if you get uh, one of these compressors and you'll know the color configuration and you'll see the name and stuff we get these like off of amazon or ebay and any of those places they do have support you're going to need to go directly through them but if you buy one of these from us here at ergon pro shop we're going to be able to support you directly with parts with service all that kind of stuff and I think that's pretty cool. So they've got a whole line of compressors we're gonna be kind of working through. But for me, this one's awesome primarily because it's gas powered. So we have a true scuba quality air compressor here and it's running off a gas engine. So I kind of wanted to walk you guys through that because if you're, gosh, if you're out in the, in the middle of nowhere or you're doing events and you need to have good air to fill your bottles and fill them quickly, then something like this is a really good affordable option. So I'm able to top this off from about 3,000 to 4,500 and right around 10 minutes, which is pretty daggum cool. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of show you guys how this works. This is the whole compressor head part, and this is obviously the gas motor part. So we've got two filters here. We've got a condensing tower and we have, well, this is more your condensing tower, and then this is your actual uh, filter filter. So we have a couple different things going on there. It's a four stage compressor and it is you know it's true scuba rated so you got to use the right oil that's like the most one of the most important things make sure you're putting the right oil in this we carry it in the pro shop so you know it's cl 751 it's a food grade iso 150 it's a very very high end and you need that because these things generate a lot of heat and it can burn up traditional oil and then you're burning up your compressor so regular old gas motor here let me go ahead and fire this thing up what you want to do you're going to make sure that all your valves are open. There's two valves on this side. You make sure those are open. Get this out here. All right. So my valves are open. Oil in my engine should be fine. Yes, it is. It's already starting to come out there. So that's good to go. Uh, I've got gas. Check that already. So let's see. Fuel is on. Choke is on. Uh, that's on. I'm just going to fire this up. It's going to be noisy. Uh, so I apologize for that, but that is sort of the nature of the beast. Here we go. All right, we got our valves open. What I was just doing, just make sure everything's still working good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. This is the Ninja fill system, and it is pretty awesome. It's regulated uh, out, this is a regulated output. So this tells you what's in your bottle. This tells you what your output is. When you push, when you screw this in, it dumps just the regulated amount. When you come back out, it actually bleeds it all in one little brick. Very, very cool. So this is a DIN connector. Now we can get these set up for you with whatever if you want to foster quick disconnect or whatever but i use the den on this one so go ahead and connect this up here now one of the things you want to do is you don't want to open this up and preload this with a ton of pressure that's bad for the unit you want to let this build up to about what you got in the bottle and then open your bottle so it's, it's not some big hammering it with a bunch of pressure because this has a round 32, 3300 PSI in it right now. So we're gonna let that build up here on the gauge and then I'll open this up and then, you know, we'll top off our bottle. Let's see here. Choke power.
So, um, it actually went pretty quick. We're looking at about a six minute fill time to top this off, which I gotta tell you, that's pretty cool, really. Um, so if you're out in the field and you gotta top your bottle off, that's six minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. So what I did is this is not auto shut off. So I, uh, you have to make sure you, you watch it. You can't just walk away and leave it and not keep an eye on it. So when it got to pressure, first thing I did is shut the bottle off and then open up my valves here so that I let it, I let the moisture and all the condensate and all that kind of stuff drain out. And then I let it run for a little bit just for, you know, any additional moisture to get out of the system. And that's basically it. So now we can go ahead and connect our fill system, fill our gun and do our review. So that's pretty cool. I really like the gas powered option because you have air anywhere, especially if you need a lot of air. There's some other compressors that are small and portable and that's great if you're just filling one gun. But if you gotta fill a bottle and you gotta fill a big bottle, you, you gotta have something that actually will have the capacity. Now, this really isn't for continuous duty. So if you're trying to fill bottle after bottle after bottle, that's not what this is for. But topping off your bottle out in the field or a couple friends out in the field, or make sure you rest in between fill ups, then that's what this is great for. If you need something that's continuous duty, we have those two at the pro shop. Alkin makes a great model, but for, you know, small field use, you know, intermittent filling, this thing is cool. Price is really aggressive too. So if you're looking for something like this, definitely check it out at www.arrogantproshop.com. We'll get you taken care of. And again, you buy it from us, we service it for you. That's awesome. Guys, that's it for now. My name is Rick Utzer. Thanks for watching.